Hello everyone, my name is Givmo Makuju. I am the content director at um, Lean Finance Institute. So today we'd like to look at scenario analysis. So basically scenario analysis is a situation whereby we are trying to predict the outcomes uh, based on uh, possible future events. Let's say, for example, we are expecting the economy to contract or the business to contract or the business to expand or we are anticipating better economic uh, prospects in the future. So we will try to, in this tutorial, we are going to try to break down the um, scenarios that is uh, the, the possible future events in about three categories. So we are going to look at the best case and we also look at the worst case and the best case. So the best case is uh, sort of the status quo, like, um, you know, what's happening currently, right? And the worst case, uh, we are trying to um, project the future outcomes based on, let's say, economic um, prospects contract or um, business prospects contract and the best case the best case is uh, when we are anticipating better economic prospects and also let's say we are anticipating that our revenue is going to grow um, you know we are going to sell more volumes uh, so basically that's the best case in a nutshell. So best case, like I said, is more like the status quo or a stable economic situation or condition. Yeah, so now we have got a set of scenarios uh, here. So let me just collapse that. So you can see we have got the best case, we have got the worst case, we have got the best case. So here under the uh, best case, we have got revenue that is growing at 10% and under worst case, we've got revenue declining and growing at a rate of 9% and under best case, we've got revenue growth rate at 12%. We are signifying better economic prospects and uh, signifying better marketing uh, efforts and that may drive revenue. Now, so we want to um, create um uh, we want to link uh, these outcomes the income statement we want to link the income statement to these scenarios right so the way to do that is we have to create uh, here you see these uh, initial assumptions and these depict the best case so we have 10 we have to turn these assumptions to a live um, a live to a live case so that we also may we also link uh, the other three scenarios to that life case and we will use that life case to control uh, the the scenario so that uh, we can monitor the outcomes here on the income statement so without wasting time let's just dive into doing it now what we need here we need to first of all create a drop down list and we are going to create a drop down list using data validation it's an excel tool you, yeah, that is known as uh, data validation so first of all we have to um, uh, create uh, so for now i can just create some spacing here so that i paste my uh, my scenarios and then we can uh, move forward to creating a drop down list. So let's just see how to do that. So here I'm going to turn this into a live case. So I'm going to write live case here. And here I'm just going to add, so I want to add um, some rows above the live case. So I'm going to uh, press, uh, so let me just, uh, yeah, like this. So I'm going to press Alt H I R just to add some top rows. And I'll also do the same here, Alt H I R. I'm going to do that once more, Alt H I R. And uh, I think I've got um, enough space for my scenarios here. So what I'll do is I'll just come down here. I'm just going to copy all these three scenarios and then paste them here. So I'm going to uh let me just paste them here like this so actually uh that's perfect 
so you can see now this is we we now we now have got the best case we now have got the worst case and the best case right so now i can press uh, escape on my keyboard and then close this um collapse that um so here what i need to do is i need to create the drop down list now so here i can write scenarios right so i can write scenarios here and here i can write one two and three just like that so once i've written this now i have to come here and here i'll just write live case because it's like we we want to create a button that we are going to use to you know um control these scenarios so that we take a look at the outcomes now to do that like i said before we use what is known as um, data validation so to do that on our keyboard we are going to to create a drop down list using data validation we are going to press alt a on our keyboard and then we press v v for data validation and then here we just um, select a list and then uh, we select uh, the these numbers here and then we press here again and then we press ok so as you can see we now have got uh, a button here you can see with uh, an icon uh, for drop down list so here i'm just going to choose one here right and um yeah so now this is the first option so these are options right scenario options so this is option one this is option two and this is option three so the what i want is whenever i select option one um here the the income statement which is our outcome it has to match it has to to adjust to the set of assumptions that are under option one and obviously under option two and and option three so let's see how to do that so now as you can see this was our assumptions one and we we see that this set of assumptions they link to our income statement so that's where we are going to do the linking so here since these are already linked to the income statement i'm just going to delete these ones like this and um right so what i would do now is i'm going to use the choose function to uh, link uh, the above scenarios to the income statement so what i'll do is i'm going to press equal sign to initiate the formula and then um, write choose and then press tab and now what i need to do is i'm going to choose the first option and then i'll press f4 just to anchor it because I want this the, the option to be fixed and here I'm, ju I'm just going to select uh, revenue for the best case and I'm going also to select revenue for the worst case and I'm also going to select revenue for the best case best case and then I'll uh, hold on shift and close the bracket and then here I'm going to press enter on my keyboard now i'll hold down shift and uh, copy and highlight to 2024 and then press ctrl r to copy the formula to the right it is you can see the revenue is adjusted to the to option one which depicts the best case so now we can see under uh under the best case our revenue will grow at 10 percent and this is equivalent to 10 percent growth of the revenue now what we need to do to copy the formula down now we have to press ctrl c on our keyboard and then highlight all these other blank cells here up to the income tax rate and um, now press on our keyboard alt e s and then here we just click on formulas to just paste the formulas and copy them down so as you can see we can see that um these are uh, so our income has been populated based on the best case assumptions so now in financial modeling all formulas need to be in black so we need to turn these numbers into black so let's highlight and then let's turn them into black so alt hfc and then i'll choose the black color here 
So now the income statement, this is our income statement based on the best case assumptions. And here you can see the net income is 3,335. So let's uh, choose the option two, that is uh, the worst case. Let's see how our income statement will look like in the worst case scenario we see that our our net income will be like 3106 it you, see, you can see that it has declined from that one for the best case and let's see also for the uh, best case so the best case we are seeing our our net income will be like 4609 so here uh, there it is guys for you and i uh, hope you have appreciated how to use the scenario analysis or how to do scenario analysis in your uh, financial statement analysis or financial modeling so you can see that um, sometimes it's good to do the scenario analysis than it to just be direct and you know be rigid to say okay i think my assume, my set of assumptions are final and i'm just going with the best case you know there's there, there's a lot of uh, changes that happen you know in the economy and in in in, in the business uh, sector and industry so you need to implement the scenario analysis too for you to be able to make um, better decisions and see how your business will perform under different possible future events so i hope i hope you have uh, uh uh learned something useful and uh just so you know that we have uh a full course on financial modeling and valuation so um if you're interested just um, message us using the email below and also uh, click on the website link below that will take you to the course and we also we are also doing some uh, boot camps financial modeling boot camps so that you can sharpen your financial modeling skills and i tell you you will learn a great deal uh, you also learn about how to analyze you know listed companies real listed companies so if you're interested uh, be sure to message us be sure to email us and we will be glad to assist you and uh, one more thing that i'm asking from you guys if you have really liked this video i want you to subscribe to our youtube channel don't leave um don't leave this channel without subscribing please please guys so thank you guys and you are so amazing may god bless you see you in the next tutorial